Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This one is going to cover my uh, home theater PC. Uh, this case that you see right here, you can get off of Newegg for about 30 bucks. Look at that, you can see it on the screen there. In media PC, black steel, 1.0 millimeter HTPC 1800B Mini ITX. 30 bucks. Wow, can't beat that. So uh, let's take some measurements on this first before I really get into this case. I just want to give you an idea of how big this damn thing is. And I'll take my tape measure off, or my ruler off the wall here, and we'll take a look. Look at that. That's just fucking tiny. Jesus. Wow. Anyways, sorry about the mess in here. This is my office. Uh, it's usually a mess. I, actually, I, I'm really not sorry, you know, and I, and, and usually people say, oh, I apologize for this. No, fuck you. This is my office. This is how I am. If it wasn't a mess, I wouldn't know where anything was. But anyways, let's take a look at this case. It's, it's really, really small. It looks just like a DVD player. You'd swear that's what this was. Now, normally when you buy this, as you can tell in the picture, it's black. But I painted mine white, and you can also see in the picture that it's got slot openings for an 80 millimeter fan yeah that's fucking useless don't even attempt that but what i did is i went ahead and drilled some holes on the top here uh sloppy job you know my electronics are good my uh metal skills and woodworking skills suck but you know it is what it is and then i went ahead and uh sanded down and painted it up see a bay here for your dvd drive or blu-ray drive i got a blu-ray drive in this one um i've built several of these before and we're going to take the top off here and we'll set this off to the side so you can take a look at what's inside here now you'll notice the job i did on the wiring let's turn this around just a little bit pretty good in there it comes with a little one of those little clip things that hold it down. I use some uh, glue from a glue gun to put that in there. That's what that is. I mean, you ain't going to see it, so who cares? But this is an ITX motherboard. This is an MSI uh, B450i gaming motherboard using a Noctua fan. This is the uh, NH... Uh, L9 something or like A or something like that. You can look at the depth on that. Give you an idea how much clearance is in there for this low profile fan. Now I'm going to put some links when I'm done here with making this video in the description of where you can find the fans for this. But this is a low profile fan. You need a low profile fan because if you try using the stock fan, which I got over here somewhere, I'll grab it off the thing. This is a stock fan. This is a AMD uh, fan that comes with the uh, processor in here. And what I got in here is a uh, 2200G processor. And when this one goes in here, it's, it's usually up by about oh i'd say about a half inch that much sticks up so you really need a low profile fan if you're going to use a case like this and let's show you a couple of the other things that are in here like the eight pin connector right here you'll notice i have this little splitter going on which goes into the molex and to the uh, four pin the power supply only has the four pin connector that's actually why i need this splitter to make sure the uh, cpu is getting the full voltage that it needs now you can run this with just the four pin uh plugged into a motherboard but you know myself personally personal preference i like to put it in make sure it's getting the full voltage this is an f uh what the hell is this power supply well, i'll link to it later but it's very very quiet <laughs> This is a uh, Flex ATX type power supply. Very, very tiny. 
you'll notice the motherboard of course has got the wi-fi on it i mean there's not much to it i mean if you're going to put this as a home theater pc you could actually you know just plug in a wireless keyboard into this port here i got it connected up to my kvm switch that's what this is uh and then a wireless keyboard port and then put your dv or your excuse me hdmi in there you got your wireless internet there plug it in and you're good to go i mean it fits under most any tv stand because of the size of it right here if we open up this door this is just kind of a little magnetic door got the blu-ray going on here and this case will actually hold two 2.5 inch hard drives ssd drives they actually mount underneath the uh dvd rhyme bay and i don't have any in here right now because well i don't need them because i'm running an m.2 Ooh, that's some crap on there i'm running an m.2 uh on the motherboard which is actually and you can't see it of course i'm not going to take it out it's actually mounted underneath um uh, eight gigs of uh hyper x ddr4 memory in here Now, I've done a few of these builds, actually, on, on this particular case. It's, it's actually a pretty nice case for 30 bucks. If you look right here, you can see it right there, that little, little circle right there. That's the remote sender, if you want to buy a remote control for it. And I'll put a link in there where you can get the remote for it. And I'll link to the uh, Cody forums where I did another HTPC like this and how I mounted the remote sensor in there. But uh, that's pretty nice, too, because then you could just get, like, a regular uh, Windows Media Center remote control and and uh, run this with a remote control right here. You can see the little sensor. Now, one of the things about this case, every time I've built one of these, uh, and I'm sure this is just, like I said, it's, it's like every time. And I've built, like, five, six of these. I don't remember. This little plastic plate right here almost always falls off it's just kind of like every time i order one i expect it to fall off so it's like i'll get it and then that's the first thing it checks like well how loose is this I, it's just probably got to be a manufacturing thing this one when i bought this case i actually found the little plastic plate right in here when i opened up the door because i was like wow where the hell is it but yeah i had to end up putting some super glue on it putting it on uh, now let me switch my input here on my monitor to the HDMI input and then I'll switch the KVM switch to this one and then we'll put the power button on it you can take a look now you see it says right there home theater PC uh, that's just kind of a generic thing that lights up if you want just leave that unplugged right over there on the motherboard pins but it actually it'll, it'll boot pretty fast Oops, did I unplug that? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I was looking at my screen going, wow, why is mine I gotta get not getting a signal? But I accidentally unplugged that. Let me unplug that in real quick here so we get an HDMI signal. There we go. All right, there we go. So that's plugged in. <clears throat> Anyways, uh... This is actually going to go under my uh, big screen TV upstairs, and I'm still working on this. But this is kind of a do-everything PC. But, I mean, it's not a hardcore gamer, because obviously, you know, you can see right there, there's no video card in the in the PCI Express slot. Uh, it's running integrated uh, Radeon graphics on there with the Ryzen 3. So it's it's not like, super super fast for super hard games but i mean you can run you know you know i, I don't know i guess look on youtube and, and and see what you find on how well the uh, 2200g does by itself but i mean it's got some pretty cool features on there i mean i got like for instance we'll start with this the hd home run uh this is actually part of my, the cable card tuner that i have hooked up in the house uh what that does is it it lets you run cable all the way across the house using a cable card uh using the network so whatever computer you have in the house or even your smartphone you can uh 
watch TV, and we'll turn that off, that's too loud. You can watch TV across the house. So that's one feature that it does. Um, another thing that I have in there, uh, Cyberlink Power DVD. Got to have that. I mean, how else are you going to watch the Blu-rays and the DVDs? Got to have that. And then I'm running emulators on it. And I haven't done uh, most of them yet. I got most of the ROMs put in there, but I'm just still setting up right now. This, that's what this video is. It's kind of a... Uh, pre-finisher right here just showing you what's going on uh you got the super nintendo emulator which of course you know and of course i'm using a logitech uh, f710 controller so it's all wireless and we'll escape this Turn that off. Uh, wireless video game controller. And of course, I'm using a wireless keyboard. I'm using the uh, Logitech uh, K400, I think that's called. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll link to it all down when I'm done with this video. So, this is pretty much a uh, wireless computer. Uh, everything is ran from your couch. You know, you can sit down on your couch, you can play games, you can surf the internet, and do whatever now one of the things i'm going to experiment with here i'll show you this like i said i'm using the noctua fan and it's low profile like i said you know but from what i'm measuring it looks like i probably have enough depth for a uh, 25 millimeter noctua fan this is a uh, 92 millimeter here 14 millimeters high but if I'm measuring right, I think I can get a 25 millimeter in. So I got one on order and I'm waiting for that to get in. I'm gonna try that. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm using some Thermal Grizzly Conductinaut. Now that's, you know, liquid metal basically. <laughs> and uh, dangerous stuff, but no, uh, I mean, I've used it before and I wanna use it again, but my package got lost in the mail. Uh, so right now I'm going around with UPS trying to, or excuse me, the postal service trying to get that figured out and straight now I might end up having to order another two, which delays everything I want to do with this. So we'll try that later on. But so far, I mean, the thermals aren't, aren't that bad. I mean, you, it's been sitting here. Uh, let's turn on, let's see. HW monitor. And if we'll look at our temps here. Uh, AMD Ryzen 2200G. If you look at my temps, my idle temps aren't too bad at all. 29 degrees Celsius. Decent. That's really decent. I mean, even like in a conventional case, that's decent. So, I mean, so far it's doing a really good job. I wanted to do just a little bit better just because, you know, I'm OCD about it, I guess. But uh, that's the plan for that. And maybe later on, I might put a 2400G in here. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, the, the 2200G is a pretty decent processor. So a 2400G isn't too much more of an upgrade. Don't know if it's really worth the time to do. But it absolutely will work uh, for anybody that wants to do this. Um. I really, I mean, and I mean, if you look at my other videos, you can check out some of the other stuff that I've done. I do RGB this and and this and this and that and and this, I mean, compared to those, is actually kind of plain. I mean, you don't get USB three headers in the front; it's just USB two point oh. But I mean, for for what I'm using it for. Who needs it, you know? I mean, you can see people, they'll talk about, well, yeah, you gotta have USB 3, you gotta have USB type C and this and this and that. And I'm just kinda at, at, at the mindset of like, wow, who gives a fuck? As long as it does what it does and is able to do what you need it to do, you don't need all these super extra high-end features or what have you on there. Um. For for a regular, you know, home theater PC, it's not bad. You know, I mean, it's 
maybe a little bit over 500 bucks to put this all together uh you could actually probably get by cheaper if you kind of skimp on some of the parts you know like like maybe you can find a cheaper ssd than than using an m.2 like i did maybe a cheaper power supply but then again it might be a little bit louder uh you know so maybe you can get even cheaper than 500 for it you know you don't have to use a blu-ray maybe you just want a dvd maybe you can just leave it blank that's up to you uh but I, I guess the main reason I'm making this video is because, you know, you look online and if you run across this on Newegg, you'll see it's like the cheapest case that they offer in the uh, HTPC category. But you never see a video on it. You do a search on it, you're like, God, I don't know nothing about this. And it's, it's really not hard to build in at all. I mean, if you look at it right here, you see basically three basic things. That's if you use an M.2. You got your motherboard with all its stuff on it, the power supply, the burner. That's it. You know, the rest of it, you can wire up. And the wire cable management isn't too bad. See that right there? I mean, you know, pretty pretty good amount of space. You know, it's a little tight right up in here. I guess it depends on how you how you arrange it. Uh, but I, I think the important thing is, is using this splitter. That's if, you know, you're anal like me and, you know, just, just good cable management and good planning. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome machine. It really is. I can't say anything more better about it. Uh, well, I guess I hope you enjoyed it. And that's a rundown of the, uh, in media 1800 B, uh, HTPC. Thanks.